Have you ever wondered about the profound interconnectedness that exists within nature? Like an intricate tapestry, every thread of life on this planet is woven together into a grand design. Let's consider the relationship between a seed and a tree. This tiny, seemingly insignificant capsule holds within it the blueprint for an entire tree. But Ethiopian philosopher Mulat Tazabeu offers a deeper interpretation. He suggests that the seed is not just the source, it's the essence. The tree then is not a separate entity, but a manifestation of the seed. It's like the child carrying the genetic blueprint of their parents. The tree carries the essence of the seed from which it sprouted. So, what we witness isn't merely the transformation of a seed into a tree, but the unfolding of life from a singular source into a myriad of forms. The seed and the tree are not separate entities, but rather two aspects of the same whole. This perspective challenges our conventional understanding of the relationship between cause and effect. So, let's dive in. We often perceive the seed as the cause and the tree as its effect. It's the linear narrative we're accustomed to, right? But Tazebu flips this understanding on its head. He proposes that the seed and the tree are not distinct entities, but rather two facets of one whole. Intriguing, isn't it? Imagine a seed seemingly insignificant, yet it holds within it the intricate blueprint of a tree. Now picture a tree, majestic and towering, a testament to the potential that lay dormant in that tiny seed. These are not separate identities, but rather reflections of each other. The seed bears the essence of the tree, and the tree in turn carries within it the essence of the seed. It's a cyclical relationship, one that defies our conventional understanding of cause and effect. But the beauty of Tazibu's interpretation doesn't stop there. This principle of interconnectedness isn't just confined to seeds and trees. It extends to the entire natural world. Each living entity carries within it the essence of another, and so on, in an intricate web of interconnected manifestations. This is not just about flora, but about fauna, about ecosystems, about the very air we breathe. The entire natural world can be seen as interconnected manifestations of a single unified source. This is not just a thought, but a profound shift in perspective, a challenge to rethink our understanding of the world around us. This perspective also has implications for our understanding of spirituality and the divine. Let's delve deeper into the spiritual realm guided by Tazibu's wisdom. His philosophy positions God and nature as two aspects of a single entity, much like the seed and the tree. The seed in this case symbolizes divine source, the cradle of all creation. The tree, on the other hand, signifies the physical manifestation of that source, embodying the divine in the palpable, right, tangible world. This interpretation offers a profound shift in our understanding of identity and consciousness. Traditionally, we see ourselves as separate entities, distinct from the world around us. But Tazibu's philosophy challenges this notion. It suggests that like the seed and the tree, our identities are not isolated, but rather they are intimately intertwined with the world and all its living beings. Imagine for a moment that each of us is a seed. We carry within us the divine blueprint, the potential to grow into a grand tree. Our thoughts, our consciousness, and our knowledge are not outliers. They are part of the unified whole, reflecting the same essence that we see in the seed tree relationship. In this light, we find that we are not just inhabitants of this world. We are an intrinsic part of it, intertwined in the grand tapestry of life. Our individual identities are not separate from the world around us, but are interconnected with all living beings. In conclusion, Mulat Tazebu's allegorical interpretation of the relationship between the seed and the tree offers a profound insight into the interconnectedness of all living beings. Under his philosophical lens, we've explored how the seed and the tree are not separate entities, but two aspects of the same whole, each carrying the essence of the other. We've delved into the idea that this relationship transcends the physical realm, extending to our understanding of spirituality and the divine. The seed representing the divine source and the tree, the physical manifestation, are intertwined, reflecting the divine in the natural world. Moreover, we've challenged conventional notions of identity and consciousness. Through Tezebu's perspective, we've seen how knowledge and consciousness are part of this interconnected whole, suggesting our identities are intertwined with all living beings. 
This perspective challenges our conventional understanding of cause and effect and offers a new way of looking at the natural world as a unified whole.